Hi, hello, this is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to talk about Intune integration scenarios. What are the services, SaaS services, or non SaaS services integrated with Intune as out of box? And what are the options, default options available for creating the integration between some of the Azure and Microsoft 365 services? And then we will talk about third party integrations as well. And we will also cover different complexities of these integrations. This is very important to understand when you make a design decision in tune design decision so this is part number four in the in tune design decision series don't skip it and let's go into it let's look into in tune integration scenarios we are going to talk about different scenarios integration scenarios in this video and we'll see out of box integrations first party integration experience and third party integration experience just a recap we are covering intune design decisions in a video series and in the previous videos we discussed about intune design decisions and then we covered supported device platforms and baseline custom baselines how to restrict device platforms etc we have also covered different supported intune enrollment methods for different variety of platforms now in this video we will see intune integration options this is intune integration options with some examples to give you a high level overview before getting into details azure active directory is integrated with intune log analytics integration can be configured various app stores can be integrated with intune and abs asm Google Enterprise Services can be integrated with Intune. There's another integration point that is tenant attach. This is a different experience. This is a different type of integration between Configuration Manager, aka SCM, and Intune. Autopilot integration with Intune is an out of box experience similar to azure active directory before getting into details let's understand what is intune integration connecting saas or non saas solutions or services with intune core service to enhance the capabilities of intune is called integration intune integration so for example if you want to deploy app store applications you can use app store integration to facilitate that and enhance the admin experience you don't have to download the apk files from somewhere and upload it to intune that is not needed in many scenarios you can integrate google play store with intune and you can deploy applications from Intune with this integration. So that is an example of Intune integration to enhance the capabilities of Intune. So that is what Intune integration is. Connecting SaaS or non SaaS services with Intune core service to enhance the capabilities. Let's start from the basics. Intune is basically hosted in Microsoft Azure as you can see in the architecture diagram over here. So Intune is already integrated with many many layers of Microsoft Azure services in the cloud as we discussed in the previous videos about Intune architecture. So if you have not seen Intune architecture video, I would recommend to watch that. I will link that video to this video as well as to the description of the video that is all about azure services integration and azure infrastructure in integration and there are a lot of integration points which is not visible for it admins or for intune customers because intune is a SaaS solution and this integration is managed by 
Microsoft and Intune is integrated with many Microsoft 365 services as well. So we will see lot of those Microsoft 365 services and Azure services in the coming section of this video. The first one Azure AD and Intune integration. This is core to Intune. All the Intune deployments, all the Intune core components are authenticated by Azure AD. All the Intune authentication is integrated with Azure AD SaaS solution provided by Microsoft. Admins are logging in to Intune portal using Azure AD credentials and devices are part of Azure AD as well as Intune in all of the scenarios. If you want to manage devices from Intune, you have to have device records in Azure Active Directory as well. And in the console Intune portal, you can see there's a direct integration for Azure AD users, groups, etc. Because for all the policy deployment, application deployments, etc., we are using Azure AD groups. There are different types of Azure AD groups, user groups, device groups, etc. This integration is very core to Intune and we don't need to do anything for this integration. It is out of box integration. Intune admin doesn't have to do any configuration, neither from Intune side nor from Azure AD side for this integration. So that's why it's called out of box integration. Other thing is Windows Autopilot. We talked about different enrollment methods, mechanisms in the previous video. If you have not seen that, I would recommend to watch that video. I will link that video to this video. Autopilot. Windows Autopilot is a very popular enrollment, Windows enrollment solution provided by Microsoft. And it is automatically integrated as an out of box with Intune. So you can see over here the last sync option from an admin perspective they don't have to do any configuration it is out of box experience this integration is out of box experience now let's look into windows 365 cloud pc and intune integration this is also out of box experience windows 365 is the microsoft SaaS solution for windows pcs in the cloud and it's called cloud PCs as well. Intune is a SaaS solution and Windows 365 cloud PC is a SaaS solution. And these SaaS solutions are integrated together to give better enhanced experience for admins and enterprises. So for this also, this is an out of box experience and you don't have to configure anything. As you can see in the devices node, you would be able to see another node that is Windows 365 node and you would be able to see all the details and you can manage Windows 365 cloud PCs from this node. This is kind of out of box experience. New App Store experience. This is nothing but new App Store, Windows Package Manager, WinKit new App Store experience. This is also out of box. You don't need to do anything. It is automatically integrated. You can go to Windows apps, Windows, Windows apps, as I mentioned, and then you can click on this hyperlink and search, start searching for applications available in Windows package manager and deploy those applications to your users or devices. So that is the out of box experience you are, we are talking about here with Windows Package Manager. So these are straightforward integrations. You don't have to take any decision on these because it is all out of box configured. Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint integration. This is a first party integration because it is not out of box experience. It is not automatically configured. If you are an admin, you need to configure it manually from Intune portal so that you don't need to jump to different portals and to have a better experience, admin experience, you can configure Defender for endpoint integration with Intune. So that's why there's a configuration required for integration and that is why 
it is first party experience integration experience for admins now let's look into apple google app store integration apple and google app store integration intune integration with google app store must be configured you saying there's a configuration option within the portal itself intune portal itself and that is why it is called first party integration and for apple app store integration it is a bit different experience for admins so you don't have to go through the exactly same configuration but you can go to apps ios ipad os or mac os and then you can have the similar experience as windows package manager over here for apple app store but again google app store the first party experience integration experience so you need to have a design decision and you should this should be part of the solution intune solution design guide or document other microsoft services and intune integration so auto patch you know what is auto patch windows auto patch endpoint analytics all these are out of box integration you don't need to do anything if you have proper licenses appropriate licenses for auto patch you can deploy auto patch policies etc so there is nothing to configure in this as well as in this endpoint analytics log analytics yeah this is kind of a first party integration you need to integrate with log analytics there's an option in the diagnostic settings and other places you can fetch intune platform data and put it into log analytics workspace so that is a first party integration experience for admins and even for workbooks and certificate authority skep connect connection all those all those kind of integrations are a little more complex in many scenarios you need to have on prem servers and then azure app proxy and then pki infrastructure and then you need to install intune agent as well as the certificate authority connector on those on prem servers to facilitate this integration so this is more a complex integration scenario and i won't say this as a first party integration because the experience is different from first party integration experience in like log analytics so this would be more complex maybe i don't know second party integration experience as you ready privilege identity management this is kind of automatically integrated and it is an out of box integration scenario certificate authority connector this is a key decision making point in in tune design decisions if you want to deploy wi fi profile if you want to have many other authentication scenarios with certificates user certificates or device certificates you need to have this certificate authority connector and log analytics is also another design decision other one is microsoft tunnel gateway this is probably not first party because you need to configure all the things similar to certificate authority and tenant attach is the integration with configuration manager aka is the cm and this configuration is normally done on the configuration manager side so there's nothing much to do in intune portal but there are some configuration needs to be done from azure active directory enterprise application level etc so this connection is basically through graph api and there are a lot of manual configurations also required apart from sscm console configurations so uh, for me this is a third party integration intune integration experience maybe this is also skep certificate authority connector is also a third party integration experience maybe same with tunnel as well and let's look into other third party services and intune integration apn this is required for apple device management A we talked about abm 
we talked about asm apple business manager as apple school manager these are the enrollment options which we talked about in the last video so all these connections are required for apple device management with enhanced features even man managed google play connection there's a integration possible with jamf for mac os even though intune provides a rich mac management capabilities nowadays i don't know whether how many organizations are still using jamf there's another integration point that is all about mobile thread defense connectors so this is also kind of a first party integration even the team viewer integration don't get confused with the heading other third party services i mentioned about other third party services over here to highlight non microsoft services it doesn't mean that intune integration experience is third party for this this and this even for jams i think for all these three all these four integration experience is i would say first party because it it can be directly done from intune portal itself even for mobile thread defense connectors and team viewer but for jam you need to do it from jam console as well as there are some azure ad enterprise application configurations etc so this is also connected through graph api even everything is connected through graph api as you know but this is special case and probably this is a different experience but others are first party intune integration experience but these are third party services that means non microsoft services and this is more complex integration third party services which is purely connecting through graph api or without any direct connectors from intune portal this is configuring azure ad enterprise application and providing graph api permissions to have integration with all these third party service providers like ivanti service now patch my pc adaptiva manage engine and many more so this is very complex integration in many scenarios i have seen in my experience so if you are taking a intune design decision you need to have this key discussion with your internal stakeholders or clients it is key to have a design decision discussion on abm asm integrations apn certificate manage google play and mobile thread defense for all these components also we need a key design discussion and same for all the other components such as log analytics certificate authority etc and this is the general intune architecture as you know probably this is the integration with saas applications and office 365 applications as you read it shows all those integrations now you have seen all the integration options and different complex scenarios and different options to configure with third party saas solutions third party app stores third party enrollment solutions hopefully this was helpful in your intune design decision making scenarios thank you for watching see you next time bye bye